This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and I am back at the range with Bosnian Bill. Yes, you are. And we've got something special for you. This is a Squire SS80 CS, five mm -hmm. pounds of hardened yeah, here, steel. Get, get that side, would you? Help yeah, me. Yeah. Help. Now, this is... Uh, Don't drop it on my foot. <laughs> it's a, it's, if you look under this plastic, a lot of locks, they're hiding something. This is hiding nothing but a billet of hardened steel. I don't know if we have the firepower to destroy this one. Well, uh, let's go ahead and have some little fun. Let's start with the 223 on this bad boy. Yep, we'll put some 223 into it. And we'll then try. I, got a, I got a feeling this is the first one that's actually going to need us to pull out the armor piercing. Yep, I think these are going to be the order of the day. Uh, these are obviously reloads and they're a little bit hot, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure one or more of those are going to get through there. Okay, well, let's put it down range and see what we can do. Let's go for it. That and that thing's hot. Whoa! Yeah? <laughs> 30 rounds. 30 rounds. Look at that. You are eroding the heck out of oh, it. Oh, get some light on that it. thing. Look at that. It, you, I thought you had a hole, but you've not quite made it all the way through. The yeah. outer casing I'm talking about. This thing is tough. This thing just took 30 rounds of green tip. Two, 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 three. three. That's, what the steel That's the one with the steel core in it. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to waste time on 308 ball. Let's go straight to AP. That sounds like a plan. All right. a few more you'll crack that in half uh, and by might a few be right. I mean a dozen uh, hold that camera down there in the bottom right see that that's a piece of a tungsten core right here oh, right there there's a piece of busted off core in the bottom right yeah and it's definitely penetrating another it's one just, right there yeah I guess I need to move up a little bit and try to shoot the shackle off or probably the softest part of this would be to shoot the chain <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a pretty good chain. That's the yeah. New York, uh, no, let's Knights New York chain. Let's keep working on the lock. I got 
plenty of AP. Let's pump a few more into it. Sounds good. Make sure we're recording. Yeah, we're recording. All right. Oh boy. Oh man, look at this. How's the back side of that thing look? The core is gone. It's completely blown out. This thing is not yielded. No, it looks like there's a crack going through yeah. it though. Flip Does that go through to the other Let side at all? Try to flip it over. There not a chance. There's a start of a crack, but it's hardly anything to brag about after 20 rounds of AP and 30 rounds of 223. Darn near brand new. Oh, man. That's incredible. Wow, that's a hot lock. I mean, you can you can see daylight through the bottom of that lock and mm -hmm. bounce it a couple of times. Yeah. Nothing. No. Not a chance. I tell you, if you're going to attack this with a weapon, you better bring a friggin' machine gun with armor piercing. Talking 50 or 20 millimeter or something. I just don't think the 308's got the energy to do no. it. No. We could shoot that thing all day long. We'd eventually crack it, but I'm still not sure it would come off the chain. <laughs> man, oh man. That is a beast of a lock. All right, well, let's call it a go. We're not getting this one off. Okay. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm not ready to give up on that Squire. I just think we should give it our best shot. Okay, guys, we're going to try something a little unusual here. Um, we're going to pull out a couple of weapons we've not used previously. Both of these are 300 blackouts. Now, they're both subsonic. However, they're firing a very, very heavy bullet, 220 grains. So there's going to be an awful lot of kinetic energy. It's just not going to be going very fast. Both of these are suppressed, so you're not going to hear a lot of noise either. But it ought to be fun, if nothing else. You think we stand a chance? No, but we're going to have a little fun, huh? Sounds like it. <laughs> All right, let's make a dance. Uh, just take it up there and take a look. All right. First of all, look at all of the shrapnel created by the spalling off. There's metal jackets laying stuck into the wood, laying all over the place. Spattered. We gave it a good lead coating too. And we have done absolutely nothing to this lock. With, uh, I know I fired 50 rounds. And I put another 30 on it. Yeah, so, man. Okay, all that means is we're coming back with something more powerful. Yes, it does. I happen to have just what we need. I got an M203, buddy. How come it's not here today? <laughs> I didn't think we'd need it, but I was wrong. Yeah, the squire <laughs> showed us who was in charge. All right, guys, well, we'll just go ahead and do the wrap-up. This has uh, been a heck of a lot of fun. I have really enjoyed myself. 
blowing apart a very expensive lock. Well, not, not exactly blowing it apart, but having some yeah. fun with it. Definitely destroying it. Yeah, we won't be using this thing anytime soon. But, you know, for next time, maybe we can get Squire to send us the bigger version. They have a 100 millimeter version. I mean, you know, I have access to a 50 cal rifle. I should, if they and, do, we'll use that. You know, I think they would, I think they should. We'll definitely you know? do it. All right, guys. Well, anyway, this has been fun. Appreciate you watching. Stay safe, guys. And as always, stay legal. Bye-bye.